kids and vacation day! Woo! So this is our first time sailing MSC. No clue what to expect. Trying to have a complete virgin experience here. So far the check-in process has been super easy. I don't know if it's because there's not a lot of people on the sailing or what, but we are now in the waiting area waiting for Olivia to get her test results back. And then hopefully on the ship we go. Another day, another cruise. So, like I mentioned earlier, I have never been on MSC. I figured since MSC has ordered like a dozen new ships that I should probably get my handle on it. The ships look beautiful, especially their newer ones. So I figured why not? The price was right this weekend. It's a little free night sailing here on the Maravilia. And uh, I know there's some quirks I've heard because it's a European, uh, European part of me based sailing. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm anxious. I'm really anxious to see. I tried not to read too much because I really want to give you guys an authentic reaction and experience. Um, and then of course come up with some best practice tips for anybody that wants to cruise that MSC. So we will keep waiting. If you're under 12 and you're not vaccinated, you have to get a COVID test. See? Quick and easy. So about 25 minutes total. They come to your section, they lead everybody out. That's how it works. It was sunny outside. All right, first step on board. All right, we made it on board. So as soon as you go through security, you go over to a desk where there was like four people. They scan your card and give you a tracking bracelet. It is not needed for children, just adults. This promenade is just gorgeous. So another quirk about MSC, is that you don't put a card on file for your cruise account before you cruise. You have to come to one of these machines that I'm gonna show you. So we made it to the cabin. We unpacked the bags that we carried on our little suitcases. We ended up checking just cause I hate feeling a ton of things when I'm coming on a ship, but all the important stuff like the tech gear gets carried on. The stateroom is beautiful. I wish I had a little bit more storage. Um, I know that this ship does week-long sailing so I think if I were to do a week-long sailing just off the bat first impression I would want a bigger room with more closet space with my family because if we had the three of us in a week-long sailing um, you'll see it in the stateroom tour but that's pretty much it for closed storage I will have some recommendations because I think there are things that you could buy and bring with you to make this room work a little bit better but um, it is beautiful though how's the bed compared to your other bed Great. Apparently the bed's better. So I will say one of the things that I love is that they already put towels in your room and then all you have to do is put it in your bathroom after use and your stateroom attendant will replace it every evening. So that is very cool. They don't want you to leave it behind at the pool or whatnot because you will get charged, but that is nice. So when you come into the, uh, I almost called it the wind jammer, but it's called the Birkin Place Buffet. You have to wash your hands, they take your temp, and they have to skin your card. So be prepared, everybody needs their card, even the chillins. There we got pizza, the bar. Yeah, beautiful burger display. Ooh, beautifully plated. We got pasta here. Hello! Mm. Beautiful cheese and meat display. Alright, so we are sampling a bunch of things. So just so you know, they actually make mozzarella on the ship. So I'm excited. So that was the wildest, I don't even, 
know what to call it, mustard drill. So as you guys saw, you watch the mustard drill in your room. You have to plug in a code on your phone, in your room, not your cell phone, your phone, your uh, room phone. And then you have to go find your muster station. Of course, no elevators are working, so you have to walk kind of old fashioned. But we had to come down from deck 10, down the forward, belt, uh, forward stairwell, down to deck four or five, walk down a stateroom hallway and to the middle of the ship and walk up a crew member stairwell one flight to just end up on the, I know it's not called a promenade, but you fellow cruisers will know, for them to scan our card and say we were done. It was just like this wild goose chase that made no sense. So um, I definitely prefer Royal Caribbean's new e-mustard. It's a thousand times better. Um, and I actually skipped a part. So after you watch the video, they call off a couple decks at a time to go to their muster station. So you have to wait until your deck's called. I mean, it wasn't a long wait, but it was really wild. Hispanic Town, the ceviche. The ceviche? It's actually really, really good. We'll give that an A+. Plus. So Chris, now that we've finished dinner, how's that margarita? For those of you watching this, Chris has had how many margaritas and they've all come in different glasses. And they're all in different glasses. Do they all taste the same though? This one's the one with the most liquor. Oh, perfect. <laughs> ship was a lot more lively than I anticipated. I mean, granted, it's coming out of Miami and it's a short sailing and it's a holiday weekend. So I'm sure there's are all um, factors into this, but overall, pleasantly surprised. Um, to recap, after dinner, we did, um, we had drinks at the pub and then we went to karaoke and... From there, we saw a little bit of the pool party, then we had cocktails in the Sky Lounge. I came back here, Jeff and some other peeps went to the Horizon Pool for a party, said it was hopping, so I'll give my further recap after I've had time to digest it. So.